Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, we will understand how you can configure boards in Jira work management projects. So previously we have understood about a couple of details, for example, how to create the project and after creating the project in Jira work management, how you can basically customize the board that you see that has been created in the Jira work management project. So first thing to understand here is that if you are not the administrator of the Jira work management, then you won't be able to change the board at all in your Jira work management project. Okay. But if you are the administrator, you can update the details in the board. You can, uh, you can change the underlying workflow, etc. So how you can identify whether you are the administrator. If you see this right hand side setting the cogwheel, if you'll click on it, you will see that I see a lot of details here. So Atlassian admin, Jira settings and personal settings, right? So this sort of menu shows that the person is basically the Atlassian admin and has all the system admin and other level details, right? So on the Jira cloud version, I'm the admin. So I'll be able to update the board. So to update the board, say for example, directly from the the board I can drag and drop these columns okay so for example I want the columns in a different order that is basically possible when I drag and drop these columns accordingly okay but this is not helpful in many cases so how say for example I want to rename this particular text that is appearing on this particular column or delete the column altogether okay so how you can do it you have to first to be you have to be the administrator first and then once you are an administrator, you can go to the project setting and from the project settings, go to the workflows. Now here in this workflow, you will see that you have this little pencil icon for this recruitment workflow scheme, right? Now we know that this is the recruitment project that we created, which is the business project and part of the Jira work management. So we can simply edit this, click on this pencil icon and go to the diagram view. And as soon as you will click on the edit workflow, you will see that you will get a message you are editing a draft workflow so what happens basically when you click on edit automatically jira work management creates a draft version of the workflow and it is true for any jira project so jira software or jira work management it creates a draft of the workflow and you you whenever you are changing something you are changing on the draft once you are happy with the draft you can publish it back to the live workflow so as far as you are editing here so say for example i want to change something here right so say i want to change the name of this particular interview debrief column to something else so select that particular status and click on edit right and here you can change the name so say for example i want to update something there okay and i want to add some description right so i'll add the description i can change the category but this is the progress so i will just keep it as progress but i can if i want i can change the category as well and then click on save so you will see that the workflow status has been renamed okay and i can just move it a little bit here so you can see that the workflow status has been renamed and now if i am happy with this i can simply publish this draft and it will be applied to the board that is associated with this particular workflow right if i want to add a status to this particular board so say for example uh, to this workflow i want to add a new status so i can say for example i want to add the approved status okay and here what this shows this checkbox is if i'll check this it will allow all the statuses to transition to this one what this means is that if i add an approved status right so approved status will be available okay and issue from any of these statuses can be moved to the approved status okay that's what this all transition means if you do not have or do not want the all transition you want say for example i want the transition only to happen from say for example accepted to approved or approved to accepted right so in that case we have to create the transition manually so you'll, if i highlight on any of these statuses you will see that these dots appear and you can just drag and drop to add the transitions from one status to another but you won't be able to do this in this draft workflow there is a different way to do it we have to create a copy uh, of this particular workflow inactive workflow it will create a copy and then we have to edit the copy and assign it to the 
to this particular project or allocate the new workflow that we update to this particular project all right so as of now what we can do is we can add a status which can transition to all and we have changed the name of the workflow right so name of the uh, status of this particular workflow so we have just renamed that so this will basically get applied to the board that is there right so if I simply, you know, click on publish this draft, it will give me the window to basically save a backup copy. If I want to save a backup copy, you can say yes or no, depending you want to save or save it or not. I don't want to. If you specify yes, then you can specify the copy of the workflow that you want to take backup. Okay, I'll say no and publish this. And now this particular workflow, updated workflow will change, will take effect. And if I go to the project again, so you simply go to the back to project and go to board so you will see that it has added this interview brief the text that we have changed right and then this is the new approved status that we added right so which accepts all transitions okay so it, this has been added as well okay so that's available and now you can drag and drop to any places which where you want this particular uh, status to be and if you'll see that approved will accept the issues from any status right so say for example this particular issue is at interview debrief still approved will accept this particular issue to be moved because approved is the status that will accept all transitions okay and that's what this all transition thing means in the workflow I have posted a complete series on the Jira workflows if you want to dig deeper into the advanced workflow concept I'll highly recommend that I'll put the link for that Jira workflow in the tutorial as well so you if you want to configure the Jira workflow or the Jira work management workflow concept is exactly same it doesn't matter you are using Jira work management or Jira software the workflow concept is same for both so that will help you a lot in configuring these workflows now one more thing if I go to the project settings again go to workflows edit the workflow and here say for example I'll try to add you know from approved to accepted or accept to approve right if I try to add a new transition say for example okay so I'll try to add a new transition in this case say for example I name it to approve one and add it you'll see that it won't allow you to do it okay but if I try to reuse let's see whether it allows the existing transition so transition say for example offer accepted that will be allowed okay so there are a couple of things in terms of the transitions and statuses that are limited but there are few things that you will be able to do within the project details right so in this particular case what happens is if I have to create a new transition then in that case I have to create a copy of this workflow which will be inactive and not the draft and then I can edit more details on that okay but there there are few instance few things for example renaming adding a new status moving the issues or accepting the all transitions in that particular status that is all possible and if there is something which you can't do here then there is another way to do it and I'll cover that in the next tutorial how you can say for example delete a transition right so say for example I want to remove this status okay or so I'll if I click on remove then you will say statuses can't be removed from active workflow so this message appears so how we can handle that let's understand that in the next tutorial so that's all for this tutorial on how to configure boards in Jira work management it is a bit tricky but because this will be done by your administrator so if you are aware that how this is being done and you won't be able to do or edit the board if you are the user just the user of the Jira work management project so you will know that you have to basically go ahead and ask the Jira administrator to update the board for you right so as we go to the Jira recruitment project there is nothing that you will be able to find right so you won't be able to edit if you are just the user of the Jira work management project but this video will help you to understand who will be able to do it and how they will be able to update this workflow right so that's all for this tutorial I hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching